aid on here. Okay, so I'm out in the garage in my gateway 500, the bottom one. These are both gateways here. The uh, bottom is the 500 megahertz Pentium 3, and the top one I think is 350 megahertz Pentium 3, 2 or 3. Anyway, it's running, but it's not. Uh, sh this is my backup server right now, and it's not showing up on the internet. <coughs> and uh, it looks like it's locked up. And usually, you can wiggle a mouse and it'll wake up pretty quick. I've, uh, I've got it uh, plugged into the monitor and everything, and the front keyboard is the one I'm using on it. I can see my router. Well, of course, I can see that it's running, but also I can see it on the internet on the local network. <coughs> so. Uh, that part's okay. <coughs> so, um, sometimes you know, wake up if you hit some keys and stuff. When just sometimes when the mouse won't wake it up, but it looks like I'm gonna have to hard shut it down. And it keeps going up and down, up and down on the internet for ever since I've been using it for a week or so. And I get up in here and <coughs> just hold in that button. Takes a good while. Okay, I think I got it back on. Maybe I didn't. It doesn't make much noise when it comes on. There. Until I heard it. <coughs> There's the little uh, network card lights. The only thing that really indicates that it's on. <coughs> Yeah, now see it's booting back up. So I don't know. It it may uh, get. It just may be too much for it these days. Trying to. I don't. I don't get much traffic on my website, so I don't see why it would. Of course, it may just be the machine is old. It is old, you know. And uh, well, the operating system it's the Beam Six, I think, which really shouldn't matter though. It's not getting any more updates, obviously, but. I think you can actually run the Bain 8 or 9. 8, I don't know about 9. I don't think 9 will do a, a i380. It doesn't have an i386 image or a, well, that's a, what, a 586 machine, I think. But so I don't think, um, with the they usually just name them i386 images, even though they go up to like all the way up to 586, maybe even 686, some of them. I don't know how they decide. That other machine in the picture is just one I haven't done anything with yet that Jeff gave me old TV. It's raining and thundering right now, <clears throat> but uh, we should get back online. You know, since I'm just making a video here on the phone, I can't get out of this screen. Actually, I might be able to hit the home button. I haven't, tr I don't know, I'm, not, I'm afraid I'll break my video, <clears throat> but uh, you can with the IP webcam app. You can hit the home button, then you don't accidentally close the app, but I'm, I don't, I was just going to say I uh, could, uh, I use the phone to check um, my, uh, well, I already did that a while ago, and the router shows up. This will automatically log in and everything. <coughs> so um, that should get it back online, but it just it's just never up. It's just up and down, up and down, up and down. I just thought, well, it'll come back up. But sometimes I get those notices with those. I got two websites I use, Uptime Robot and uh, Monstatic, I think it's called. And sometimes they will show that it's down for a real short time, over and over and over, uh, like seconds or, or a minute or something. And but but if you go to if I just go to the website, it's still there. It's it's okay. But lately, last several days, it's been down for one hour, two hours, three hours at a time, and that usually means it's down. And I've been working on it back and forth. Uh, trying to well I haven't been worried about it a whole lot because the site's not even working right anyway but uh, so let's see <coughs> um, I just grabbed one of the phones and brought it out here yeah 192.168.0.154 that's its IP that it should have and I rebooted the router just a day or two ago so I don't think oh I want to see I'm wondering if part of my problem is uh, try with Chrome. Um, <clears throat> part of my problem is uh, the router itself is it's old. It's a Linksys uh, W. Let me see if I can see. What the, I always forget the number. It's the one that everybody used to like. To well, I've got DDWRT on it. That's the kind you know the one that they like to do that with. Everybody did. I'd, 
I didn't do it for until just last last year, I guess. I can't see uh, the letters. Let's see, I think they're right on the front. Yeah, WRT fifty four G. That's the WRT fifty four G right there. But. Uh, <clears throat> But anyway, um, and that I do really like the interface and everything that it gives you, and and you, and you can make it a. That's how come I'm able to use it. See, uh, I don't have uh, Ethernet cables coming from my router in my room out here, so it's a wireless repeater with the, uh, with running w, uh, <coughs> DDWRT. I can turn it into a wireless repeater, and then everything that's wired to it is actually on wireless <clears throat> but uh, so this is just an old desktop just wired 53 degrees and it was a little cool <clears throat> but anyway um what is it i want to go, go to i could, probably should have grabbed one of those other cameras that's on a tripod um i forgot what it is i want to do oh, i wanted to do a speed test yeah okay so yeah okay i've got it set for the home page to be Oh, yeah, I know Chrome doesn't update. <laughs> but, uh, so what I need, I want to do, I was going to go to Google so I could try to see if I could get on my, well, let's see. Oh, I think I remember the, uh, yeah. Try to type one-handed here. Hesma.net will do an automatic <clears throat> if it'll run in on this old machine, this old browser. Page unresponsive. Yeah, you know, since it's going to, an, I, I think it's testmy.net, It'll run automated speed tests <clears throat> for uh, you know however long you want to set it for. And I wanted to just let it. That's what I want to do is to see if my speed is. I mean, the last time I checked this thing out here, I think I ended up having to do it with a phone because I couldn't get, I, maybe I won't be able to do it on the desktop here, but I, I think, I know I was able to do it with the phone, connecting it to this router, but that was, okay, it's a repeater right now, so I can't connect directly to it with the phone. Uh, it just, because I have it uh, invisible, uh, it, it gets IP, it gets its IP addresses from my D-Link in the house, so and that's the way I want it, you know, it, it keeps them on the same network for one thing, but. Well, that's the only good way for me to be able to run my... That way, if my server's in my room, where I used to have the IBM in my room, <clears throat> then I... Or if it's out here in the garage, it's still, it all shows up to be on the same router, and all I have to do is just get in the D-Link and whichever machine I want to have my server be, <coughs> uh, do it that way. But, um, yeah, it's not going to... It's locked up. Uh, Chrome is such a resource hog. It's got the machine dang near locked up. I just thought it would work better is the reason I tried to use it. I thought it might. <coughs> yeah, it's really funky doing this screen. The old CRT monitors, they get all that uh, banding or whatever you want to call it. Here. You can see the <laughs> cycles of the electricity. Okay, let that close and then... <coughs> Clock's wrong. It's, no, that's probably not wrong. 1.10 p.m. Wednesday, 31st. No, that's right. Okay, so, uh, <coughs> hang on. <coughs> so, <coughs> I thought about getting the one on the tripod as I came out here, but, well, there's really not, not a real good place for me to set it. I just didn't want to go to a lot of trouble to do this, you know. But, uh, let's see if I can... Select all. I think you can't just right click, paste, and go in the old browser and then and paste. Oh, it didn't have it in there. It, had, it still had uh, the IP of this, the website. Okay, but yeah, so locally I can get to it just fine. <coughs> Which I, I, I figured I could, but that, of course, that's not. Well, when you're on the machine that is a server, it's really going to fool you. It, it's just going to take the shortest route automatically. So even if you put in your domain name, it's still going to go locally to it. 
Okay, test. Test. My. Dot net. Dot. Test my dot net. Okay. Says it can't go there. I wonder if I'm uh, on the internet then. I'll just get rid of the HTTP. Maybe that messed it up. Test my dot net. It probably has to be HTTPS. Test my dot net. Okay. It's like it's not on the internet, but it was. It was getting the weather and everything. Yeah. All right. <coughs> Where's the home? Is there a home button on here? Not a home button. Surely I didn't just lose connection or whatever. Uh, try going back. Yeah, I wanted to copy that, so I wouldn't have to keep trying to type it. Yeah, maybe I got it this time. It took so long to go back. It, there we go. Yeah, see? I'm on the internet. No, I'm not on the internet. Even though I have my IP address and everything, sometimes you've got to re. Once you, the machine gets locked up on all that junk, and you reboot it, then sometimes you have to reboot the routers. And okay, <clears throat> now the simplest way for me to reboot this router is to turn the power to it on and off. Because it's not. I've got it separated so that the left. The left power strip does the router and the monitors and stuff, and the right power strip down there is where the machines are plugged in. So it does, you know, reboot my machines. And this router reboots pretty quick, but you know, you still gotta. <coughs> Sometimes though, when I reboot it, I have to go inside and reboot my D-Link to get it to get, to get to get it working again. So we'll see. Sometimes the machine actually needs to be rebooted. Sometimes I can. <clears throat> but surprisingly, even with all that, the IBM, it's a lot more dependable machine, and it just ran and ran around all summer. Uh, or, well, I guess it was in July when I put it out here, maybe even August. But until it, that thunder, the whole thing is I had a thunderstorm um, a couple of three weeks ago that turned the power to the house on and off several times in a row. I was asleep, and I, I noticed it, everything coming back on. And actually, I was real sick with a cold, and I didn't even come out here and look. I thought about the server, but... Oh, no, it'd be all right. It usually is always all right. Well, it wasn't. It damaged the. Turned out it, the uh, the root and the home uh, partitions in Fedora 23 on up is in a LVM, and it broke the root partition. Uh, the home partition's fine. I've been making videos and working on it, and that's how I figured it all out. The, the boot partition's fine. So it just boots into emergency shell. And uh, okay, usually you need to. Disable, you can disable networking, re-enable networking, and get your, uh, maybe you'll get your internet back after you've rebooted the router. That's the way I see it. It says connection established. So that's the way it'll do out here. And I'm going to hit enter over there on the browser and see what was an enter. See if I paste. Yep, I've got the right address in there now. So maybe if I try to, well, let's go to G Link. Let's try. Got a few links in here, so let's see if it'll go to the seventh day forecast. It doesn't look like it. <coughs> Some of those links may be bad now. Anyway, they've been in here for a long time. Try that. I think that's where I had it set to go. It was a Google search for the weather. I think it's still not online. Sometimes if you close the browser, I'll just do that. 
It is a bit, uh, the older version of the vein here is a bit more cantankerous about getting back online automatically. It's pretty darn automatic with, uh, there we go. Now it looks good. It could have been that it was fool. Yeah, it's fooling me because it's coming out of cache. Evidently, the browser cache. Now, try a different one. Try a different site or something. I'll just click the images and see if it does anything. No, it's online. Yeah. Okay. Select all. This is an old mouse without a, a wheel. Okay. Enter. It can't go there. It said this time there's a problem going to HTTPS test my on that. Well, it may not support everything I need to support it. Let's see. <coughs> Do I have any other? It doesn't have to be that side. It can be anything that does a speed test. D-Link. Can it go to the D-Link? I hope it can't, actually. I mean, well, it, I was always, you know, being an older router, I'm a little bit worried about its security. Doesn't look like it can. Uh, so I hope that it can. I don't think that it being set up as a repeater that it can even go to the main login page of the D-Link. I wouldn't want someone to get on here with their phone or whatever. And it's, I mean, it, it's not open. It's got login, you know, to it. But it it does have. Um, there is a guest network set up on it that uh, I don't think. Uh, but I don't well I didn't know I could have tried logging onto it with the phone but I didn't a while ago but because uh, I wanted to just get out here and do this okay uh, look at the bookmarks again I think that would be the you know oh it crashed the browser okay yeah, it's so old. <clears throat> now, my website's pretty old. Don't recover anything. I think it was trying to do stuff and couldn't do it. That's what happened there. Now, it looks like it's back online, so I won't give it too many things to do. Okay, now, my site... No, it's crashing it. Why would my website crash the browser? As old as it is, it shouldn't. Well, actually, I think I thought I had it all up, my my site updated to make sure it's still online updated to uh, HTML5, but it may I was looking through my backups of it. That was a, I can't I may I might have lost the newest version. I'm still not sure if I ended up getting it back up. Uh, I thought I had it backed up with the newest versions, but my backups might be HTML4. There we go. Internet speed test. By Ocala. Let's try that one. Can't go there. Internet speed test search. Speed test.net. Let's try that one. I think it might accidentally run. I'm not sure. Well, at least the go button's up. But there's all the ads. I don't think there's any ad blocker on this browser, so all the ads and stuff. Let's just try it and see. A lot of that stuff may not work. You know, Java and flashes, you know, may not be anything to play it on this browser. I clicked it. Let's just give it a little time here. <clears throat> I got a feeling, I, from what I remember, the I don't. I was just thinking that that one, <clears throat> it doesn't have a lot of ads and junk on it. The one I was trying to go to originally, I thought it might actually work on here. <clears throat> but I'll see if I could get a speed test. But it seems like all the normal sites, you know, I don't think it's going to work. I don't know. I may be trying to hurry it up too much. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, it's. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Take it a while to. 
I don't can't think of any one of these other speed test sites that would that should work that I remember ever trying and having them work. Remember a couple that tried. Speakeasy is one I used to like. Let's try it. I think it's pure Java or something. So I don't think this browser will even run HTML5. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's not going to work. <coughs> What's the history tab here? <coughs> Speedtest.net I mean, yeah, I don't think that comes up. I don't remember how I found it. Go to the next page and see. No. <coughs> okay. Wait, what's this? Oh, that one. Sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. That one says Spectrum. I'll try it. That's my internet. Oop, that's my internet service provider. This one was always working and not working. Select all. Paste. Yeah, I've got speedtest.net in there. I think you have to go... No, I'll just hit enter and then if it brings it... Yeah, HTTPS. So I'm going to cooperate. I just want to try HTTP instead of the secure. Oh, hitting. How did I get zeros from down there? I shouldn't be doing that. HTTP dot dot testmine dot net. There. See if it'll try to go there. I'll probably just force it to go to the HTTPS and it still won't work. Handshake failed. A TLS fatal alert has been received. I'm kind of wondering if... No, I, I wondered if that had something to do with my side acting up. If some links work, some don't. But I don't think that's what it is. Even though you get a little thing, you know, like on the newer browser saying this is not secure connection. That's all I think it does. I, but... <clears throat> I, I don't get... Uh, Anyway, I, I'm getting off on the sidetrack, and I'm confused now that I try to go on that sidetrack. Okay. It's just sitting there with that error. Testmod.net. Yeah, it's not going to go there. So, if I can go back again and try another speed test. What's my IP with a speed? What's my IP.com? I used to use that. None of these sites will work. Okay. That's why I was trying to use Chrome. Let's see. Because it does seem to play, even you know, the old version of Chrome, whatever it is I got here, seems to play more stuff than the Firefox but it also will lock up pretty quickly so I'll try the search <coughs> for I'll put the I, I copied and paste copied that search uh, URL in there so I will try um, Once it gets to the, let it finish loading. If you try to get it to do something else when it's not done loading, you will be in trouble. My hand's tired of holding that phone up. It's getting numb. Okay, yeah. Let's see. Ah. Select. 
Oh, there you go. Paste and go. It's a little easier. <clears throat> if if I ended up getting that search <laughs> URL that I wanted, <laughs> if that part comes up, I'll probably put it in the bookmarks. Oh, I have AdBlock Plus on there, so that that's a plus. If this one was synced with all my old uh, Chrome browsers, then it would have so many <laughs> add-ons on there that it would uh, it'd be locking it up. A bunch of those old add-ons. Too many add-ons, uh, especially the older ones, will end up blocking, overworking it. In, uh, in my Pentium 4, uh, Pentium 4, my Lenovo i5 quad-core with 4 gig of RAM. That's the main machine I use, the fastest thing I have. Okay, bookmark. Okay, now... Internet speed test. Speed test. Well, that's the one I think Okulo is the one that tried to work, so I'll try it again. The other one won't even come in at all, so. It's still, oh, it's, yeah, see, it's still loading. Is it done loading yet? Now I think it is. Okay. <coughs> Let's see if I can use that in Chrome. I was hoping to let it sit there and run, a, uh, you know, like 10 speed tests, one every 10 minutes or something, but. It may lock up. Just give it a chance, though. Mm. Okay, it's trying to go. It's going there finally. You see, I'm having to hold the phone way back here, right in front of my face, like normal when I'm even when I'm inside, and to get the screen. And there's nothing here to set the tripod on anyway, so I can bring that. Oh yeah, what I usually do if I really want to get serious about it, I bring that phone that's on the mic stand and set it here beside me. Could have done that. <coughs> would have been easier on my fingers I'm starting to hurt from it. just from holding that little bitty light phone that's funny but it's uh it's rattling away working now i'll be able to hear it okay the page is finally coming up now last time well, it hasn't got to where you can click the go button yet. The last time I clicked on it, and I didn't wait too awful long, but I didn't think it was, I, I, I didn't really expect it to work. And I'm seeing more of the page, so that's a good sign. Oh, finding optimal server. Wait till it does that. Okay, it found it. Okay, now it should be to where it could run. Let's see if it'll work. It's trying. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be around 20 megabits. Well, maybe not even that much. What are we doing? Download or upload? See, this router, it's the, since it's a wireless repeater, then the most it would get is 56 megabits, which is plenty. Yeah, 11.7 down. Okay. And uh, which is, it's been, that's a, it, between 5 and 20, maybe 25 is the best I've ever seen out here since it started getting old and acting up. It's got four ports. One of them's dead, wired, <coughs> and the wireless. Then later on, I kept using it and using it for several years. And then later on, at one point, I finally realized the thing was not even doing 56. So. Well, it was on the wired in the house, and so it, sh it would have it should have done 100 megabits. I started noticing it was not doing anywhere near 100 megabits. And so, but out here using the wireless repeater it should it used to well w when i used it as a wireless router it always did 56 megabits but ever since i uh, uh, brought it out here and uh, after i put ddwrt well when i put ddwrt in the house right next to the other routers it still wouldn't get any you know hooked up wirelessly and then i mean wired as in daisy chain to my other routers but then connecting to it and wire turning on its you know radio and connecting to it with a laptop it wasn't it was doing the same thing so it's just wearing out uh, but i don't have anything else to put out here i mean i have have my d-link 
that's a gigabit router with a, like 1200 megabit cape you know top of the wireless speed of course I don't have anything that can do that and then I have the link TP link that's a little older two or three four years older and it's supposed to do 800 or something like that wireless and you know gigabit router I could bring the TP link out here but I'd have to install the DBWRT on it first which it can there is a version that'll run on it but then I'll give up four wired ports in the house and so I haven't been wanting to do that <clears throat> and I don't really need I don't want if people start hitting my website enough to use up more than 11 megabits then there, there's too much traffic and I don't want I'll just, just soon be shut down anyway so <clears throat> it's kind of a meter you know traffic meter but if it's going crazy and doing going between you know dropping down to nearly nothing I have seen it drop down to one and two megabits before this router so if it's doing that junk and it's just going erratic then funny thing it just tool told right on through the hot summer 105 108 for like a month <laughs> and uh now that it's nice and cool uh now it's acting up but it's not cold well it was 45 last week but right now i mean 53 degrees out it's perfect for this stuff to run good you know i mean it's not that cool in this garage i don't think but there it is um 11.7 down and 2.33 up which uh when i see now that's pretty darn slow that now there we go 2.33 up is hardly enough for anybody to search the website go you know surf the website that is probably why okay now that's why there we go that's why my um my monitors keep saying it up and down up and down up and down yeah that's not enough to to serve up you know i mean i well <clears throat> if somebody's just looking at the html pages that wouldn't be so bad but if if they decide i have my music on there and it's free download so if they decide to download the music then uh, that would be too much for 2.33 uh going to you know going to them so um i'm not going to ever get it working just right until i get but the other problem is my website is just not working right anyway and I don't like I said I don't know if it's the backup that doesn't has some old links that aren't set upright or what but the link there's a bunch of links that I swear used to work and aren't working now but they were set to go to go and it used to be that it worked best you can do local links like uh, it's within that machine within the folders of that machine or you can do internet links and uh, so I was going like when I wanted to go from my music page to um, let's see yeah that's about I gotta close the machine is getting to work and hardly run it just can't run Chrome Chrome just sitting there will do that <coughs> uh, so um, I've showed it on my other videos but I was fixing to try to show it but I guess it's kind of silly but if you go to bishopgo.com and then you know folder or on web page which has which is the pages coincidentally it's the pages that has my downloads on it then it's getting errors uh, if you try to go that way but if you if it was set up I saw that some of my links are set up as local links they're working the ones that are setting up to go through bishopco.com and see since I have a since with my ISP I have a dynamic uh, IP address and it changes every so often then I have to use a um, you are uh, a, an IP forwarding setup uh, there, there's one that's free uh, free DNS dot afraid.org I think is what it is and uh, <clears throat> anyway I've been using it for years and so when I go when you go to bishopco.com or domsongs.com or whatever uh, it forwards to uh, bishopco.home uh, not home IP that's what I used to use bishopco. Uh, I used to use dying Di DNS and that had home IP.net now I have bishopco.us.2 that's what it is so um, so that's what's sewing it off now, but it didn't used to. But on top of everything else, now it looks like, okay, that tells me that that thing's not going to just improve. I mean, I could reboot it. Well, I just did that. So I just got to rebooting it. So it's at the top of its game, the router up there I'm talking about. And the machine's been rebooted now. I've worked it really hard, so I might go ahead and reboot it. Matter of fact, I'm going to do it right now. <coughs> and before I go in, I'll make sure it's back online. And I'll just do it the normal way with the, you know, I won't hard shut it down this time. 
but since I've worked it really hard there, sometimes that they just have a hard time recovering when you start running the web browser on these old machines. So I'll reboot it and uh, see that it's online and everything, and then then I'll go back in and check my website and everything else. Oh, it's wanting uh, authentication. I'll be there. I didn't remember that was set up that way. Saying, uh, prevents restarting the system when other users are logged in. It requires root privileges. And so, so and so. I don't have the password out here with me. So. <laughs> See if it really will go ahead and do it. I may have to. I'm, I'm, I guess I'll hard shut it down. It's not the end of the world to do that, but I'll wait for a little bit and see if it does it. It looks like it's going to do it. Yeah, I think it did. There was something. I don't know. Maybe it was checking for updates. It said something. It said when other users are logged in, but I don't allow. I don't have anything set up for anybody to log into it from the internet or anything like that, like to the website. But there shouldn't be other users. There's only the one. Well, there's when it's booted up, you got root, and and then I have it log into Don. So there is two users, you know, basically logged in root and Don. But um, so I don't know. But anyway, I hit cancel when it rebooted. So kind of odd. <coughs> I'm trying to think, is there an easy, quick way? I'm I'm trying. Since I keep, I'm trying to think about what version of the Bane I'm running here. Pretty sure it's six, but not completely. It's pretty cool how these old machines you can make. They can, I mean, it'd be. It's a, other than the now the internet stuff, it's not good anymore. But everything else you would want to do with a computer, it's good for that. Or with the Bane six on it. And when I first put it on there, it was okay. There were just some sites that didn't work well. But now it's it's you know there's just too much changed too many things that won't run on the old browser so uh, I think I'll check my it should have the same IP I believe I have it set to always get that IP so um, it sure was a fast reboot though maybe it didn't reboot maybe it just went back to <laughs> it was so fast that I'm thinking it didn't reboot I'm thinking it may have uh, just went logged back in, you know, to the graphic user interface. Well, it's online and everything. I think it'll be all right though. That that the browser opened up pretty well, and uh, I'm not 100 sure if I rebooted it. But since it's acting up so much, it's not like I won't may have may not have to come back out here and mess with it. That's just the def the default app that came with the Bane. Oh yeah, I was going to look at System Monitor and see if uh, see if I can see if well, some of the System Monitor apps will tell you what you got. Some of them don't. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so yeah, the Bane six, the Bane six zero dot ten, the Bane Squeeze is what it was called or is called. But it's Linux kernel 2.6, so, and Genome 2 desktop. Only using 248 megabytes of memory. Oh, that's how many it has. That's all I have on here? I guess so, yeah, it's probably a 256. It's probably 256 megabytes of memory. So, an available disk space, 7.9 gigabytes. Now, is that after what I've used up, or is that how much is actually left on there? Don't remember with how that's given out, but anyway, yeah, this is one of the ones that's good about showing you that. So it should be back online. Uh, I have to go inside to you know to check that. Actually, my notifications that I get in my emails will tell me probably by now. <coughs> okay, so um, I don't. I think it's just going to keep giving me trouble. But so what I'm going to do then is. I'm not going to try, keep trying to work on this and make it work. I'm just going to try to get my... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reinstall Fedora 28. So I already did it once, but I did it on a 20 gigabyte hard drive, and it's just already out of space, so it's only got 2.5 gig. 
So I'm going to do it on probably the 80 gig hard drive that's in the was in the IBM, the one that got the broken, got a broken root partition now, and uh, put it in there. Put everything I want on there, including a graphic user interface like I have. I don't have a graphic user interface on it right now. Then I I really want that if I'm going to do. I might actually since it's a I'd forgotten that it's a 64-bit machine, and so um, I can. Uh, I can install my dynamic websites and all that stuff, but I'm gonna want the graphic user interface to be able to work on that and do all that. So put that on there, have plenty of space. It'll be more than I need really, but quite a bit more. And then I have that 20 gig hard drive that I can pedal around with and a 30 gig hard drive that I could put in the IBM. Actually, I have a 250 gig hard drive that will become available once it's mom's old hard drive, but I'm leaving all of her old Fedora 14 stuff on there until I completely finish installing and putting all our files back on her new system so all right so there we go that's the uh ibm uh, ibm the gateway 500 megahertz pinion 3 that i'm always talking about that i've been using lately as my gateway uh, backup server but i have all this stuff set up out here in the garage here's an old monitor that was a real good monitor i bought new Oh, that's the Trinity on that. Well, we, yeah, we did buy that new, but that's the Sony monitor. The black one in the background, that's the one I've got that has a flat screen. Actually, I think, no, that Sony's not flat. I can see the curve on it. Anyway, Sony just quit working after about 15 years or more. And the other one, it smokes. It still works, but it smokes. <laughs> and uh, so it's dangerous. And I kept thinking I might, well, I'll probably have to throw them away, but... I kept thinking I might be able to fix that other one that smokes. Anyway, um, t old TV that still works, just sitting here. And then machine that I could actually do something with there. It could be a server. It's only like a 1.7 gigahertz, but it's a gateway too. But uh, <clears throat> I can make it a server too. All right, that's my junk in the garage. Bye-bye.